website. There it goes. Excellent. And the second one. Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Online. It's just a wee short video today. We're going to uh, head off to the Alhena system where there's a distress call being put out by the uh, Dilithium storage facility there. Not Dilithium, Deuterium, that's the word. Begins with a D, close enough, maybe, I don't know. Um, so we're heading right down to the bottom edge of the Beta Quadrant map to the Alhena system. or refueling station, whatever it is. There's something there anyway. And they've got a distress call out. Incoming distress signal. The Alhena refueling station has an exclusive contract to supply ships on the front with deuterium. As per the contract we signed with your government, it is your obligation to protect us. It is all spelled out in Section C, Subsection 12, Addendum 2.5A, Paragraph 12, Revision Note 4.7. Have someone in your government check the contract, if you don't believe me. <laughs> uh, I run the deuterium refuelling station in orbit of Alhena 1. It would be a great little business if I wasn't always under attack by the true way. These tanks can't take a lot of damage and your government promised to defend my station in exchange for deuterium to supply your ships in the war zone. So get over here and do some protecting. This mission will fail if all of the deuterium supply tanks are destroyed. The mission may be repeated daily. Okay, so we get skill points, expertise, dilithium war and we also get this. Surplus deuterium which gives us an almost 450% flight boost for everything, so that's a lovely thing to have. Let's accept the mission, and you see we now have this respond to the distress signal button, which loads us in to the Alhina refueling station. Captain, we have arrived at the source of the distress signal. Records indicate that the deuterium refueling station here has agreed to resupply our fleets in this sector. In addition to payments from Kronos, the station has authorised to ask KDF ships for assistance, providing the requests are reasonable. Borka, the station administrator, is hailing us. Finally, when I ask for help, I expect to get it. That's part of our deal. Or does your government think it can fight a war without deuterium? Without the assistance of honest businessmen like myself, you'd be stuck in space dock. Ever since I agreed to do business with Kronos, my station has been under constant attack. Deuterium storage tanks aren't cheap to replace, you know, and neither are mercenaries. This whole crazy idea is costing me a fortune, and now the true way are back again and they're going to blow up my tanks again. So why don't you power up those shiny weapons of yours and do something? Okay. Incoming enemy transmission. The Empire must be truly desperate if they are sending ships to protect Ferengi interests. Tell me, can anyone hire Klingons these days? The warp conduits on my ship need scrubbing and I'm willing to pay a few warriors to complete the task. Huh, cheeky beggar. Right, let's get some shooting done to take attention away from the tanks and onto me. These are small ships, so they shouldn't take long to go down the I want to grab attention to that galore. So I'd much rather they shoot me instead of the continuing uh, tanks. Tanks remaining, 3 of 3. The goal is to make sure that does not fall to 0. If it falls to 1 or 2, it's not such a big deal. But it must stay at 3, ideally. OK, 
I really don't like this shit, but I don't want this other trick to be. Okay. Four enemy ships are approaching in high warp. Estimate 30 seconds to contact. Reinforcements inbound at 16.15. That galore has got to be down, otherwise I'm going to have difficulty in the next phase. Come the reinforcements. It's another Galore class. Half tank torpedo, go for it. Yes. You got me an attractive. There we go. Attract the attention of that door. Look at that, that's what happens. That's why one of the tanks is taking damage. Okay, it's still at three of three, but I really don't want it to go down any further. Galore. I hope so we can get rid of it. 2%. There it goes. Excellent. Now the second one. There's a half paint. Occupied. The damage of the tank from the radiation on that. And our forward shield is down. And the rear shield by the good thing. Come on, go up. You should have left when you had the chance. Your deaths will be meaningless and quickly forgotten. Since when did Cardassians start sporting moustaches to make them look like a bit like Klingons? It's weird. Okay, so we have... Final assault. Three ships. Oof. Keldon and two Hideki. Well, the Hideki class ships are small. So we'll deal with them maybe first. One down, one down, one down. Okay, so let's deal with the next hit class. Right. 
shooting these healing stations and they're damaged. I had your two times even. Now, club and class have a habit of spawning holographic ships to fight you as well. I'm not particularly a fan of that. Let's just focus on the Kelden. The rivers are not all funded. Administrator Borka, I'm impressed that you've managed to prevent the disruption of the entire fuel supply, although it's going to cost me a fortune to repair the damage that the treeway did before you stopped them. As per our agreement, you may take any fuel supplies that you need and I will record the transaction and send an invoice to your government. With a small surcharge for additional costs, of course. Come back any time. Okay. And at this point, we're left with... The the, the only thing to do is to part the system. But this little item here, the deuterium surplus, is quite a nice wee boosty thing for an engineering ship. So I'm going to do this because he said you may take any deuterium you want. So I'm going to fly close to these deuterium tanks. Here's the first one. Transport some deuterium aboard. Let's go towards the second one. Let's transport some aboard. We'll head towards the third one. And we'll transport some aboard. So I now have four instead of three. Very useful. Okay, the part of the system. And... That's it. That's it for today. Well, thanks for sticking with me. It's a short video, I know, but there we go. Uh, neutral zone dailies. We'll do a second version of the uh, Shamar uh, and we'll see what happens.